The character that almost ruined my upload schedule. I literally finished another script for a Nintendo Entertainment System Online, but this character just decided to draw. I mean, technically fall starts in September 23rd, but Nintendo just said no. Banjo-Kazooie and 5.0 are a good addition to the game, and here's why. Obviously, we start with Banjo-Kazooie, so this character is not broken for one, and doesn't feel the best playing. Don't get me wrong, he is pretty fun when you know what you're doing, but it kind of feels weird to play him. That might be me personally, so let's just move on. His forward smash is honestly one of the best moves. It's really strong and has incredible range, so it would be the viable KO option. His down smash comes out really quick, so it would work with his down throw best. More on throws later. His up smash is a multi-hit one, so it could deal damage. Their aerials aren't bad. But they're not great. His Nair is similar to Ivysaur and Piranha Plants. It's good for dealing damage and can set up for mini combos. His Fair is the strongest of the aerials. It can kill and looks like it should spike. But just like Dr. Mario's, it can. His Up Air is really weak. It's most comparable to Sonic's, but way weaker in both strength and knockback. His Bear is decent and is a multi-hit, but it can't kill. And finally, his Dare. This can spike, but it goes vertically downwards, so I wouldn't be using this offstage unless you're going for something flashy. His throws aren't great either. Up throw, forward throw, and back throw are all basically used to space yourself from the opponent. However, his down B can ground someone and like I said earlier, can be synergized with down smash. Their tilts are decent with down tilt setting up for combos, up tilt KOing, and side tilt spacing you from your opponent. And finally, their special. Neutral special is the third version of gun in this game. This is of course stronger than jokers and you can move around with it. However, the longer you use it, the weaker it gets. His side special is really strong but really limited. You can use this to block projectiles, have super armor, or recover, but you can use it 5 times a stock. His recovery is similar to Sonic's and Mega Man's, but you can hold it to change the height, and you can still use your jumps after using it. And lastly, his down special is a grenade. You have to make sure you're facing backwards so it can go towards your opponent. Of course, you can just use it as an item and throw it towards your opponent faster. All their attacks are pretty cool, but I wouldn't say they're the best. Now his stage, Spiral Mountain, is a very unique stage in this series. This is the first time a stage changes perspective. It really is cool because every angle has its different hazard. You've got some platforms at one point, then you've got the mountain spiral on the other, and lastly you've got a walk-off segment. You can see the developers spent time making this stage as there is so much going on in the background. Nothing actually attacks you, but I doubt this will be tournament legal. There are 10 music tracks that come with him, and most of them are remixed. They bought the original composer of Banjo-Kazooie to make music for this game. It's funny how a company owned by a Nintendo's rival company is giving them more content than a company that isn't rivaling them. His spirits board has around the same amount as Heroes, but in this update, they did add new spirits for anyone who played the Dragon Quest XI demo. That's pretty neat. Now the update. This update obviously added some new What? Huh? Well, I must have gotten tired when I was editing. But more importantly, since there's no way Sans is in Smash, right? I mean, I must be crazy thinking he's in Smash. There's no way he's in Smash, right? I mean, it's not like they would ever add Sans to this get. Now they added Sans from Undertale as a Mii costume, which made me feel relieved, but also scared at the same time. I have nothing against Undertale. Heck, it's such a good game that I recommend you should go play it. But I just do not want Sans in Smash. It is cool how they got Toby Fox, the composer and creator of Undertale, to make a Megalovania remix. Sakurai and him are now friends. They added the final game mode. To the game which makes me pretty sad. 
knowing this is the first Smash game without Break the Target. Home Run Contest was expected to come for a while now, so I'm not so surprised of its return. However, this version of Home Run Contest may be the best version in the series. The hit towards the sandbag cannot look more satisfying than it does now. This mode feels a little more cinematic from the other games, and the space around it looks beautiful. If you hit it high enough, the bag will go into space. It's really fun, and you should go play it with friends. Nothing else major was added, so this update wasn't bad. But I think from here on, updates will be smaller. The Banjo-Kazooie update wasn't all bad. We got some new Mi costumes, a new game mode, and a new character. Not many patch notes were made, so characters should feel the same. Now, my final prediction for this fighter pass. That's right. It's Waluigi. I know I had my differences in the past, but hear me out on this one. There are so many potential characters that can be in this game, and so far, none of them came f directly from Nintendo. So there must be a Nintendo rep in this game. It's either him or a Fire Emblem Three Houses rep. This update broke my dreams for Break the Target to return, but I am excited for what Mr. Sakurai will give us next.